welcome to this video on half-life. Today we'll be looking at the calculations that are involved in calculating half-lives, calculating total times for decay, or calculating either start or final values for mass or activity. One of the ways that you can calculate half-life is if you're given a graph. So here we have an example of a graph. And you can see here that the mass is starting at 200 grams and going down and then the time is going up in 20 minutes. So the easiest way to work at the half-life is to find the 200 point and then find the mass at half. So if we go down to 100, if you trace a line over until you hit the graph and then trace a line down, that will give you your half-life. So you can see that the time taken to get from 200 to 100 is 20 minutes. You can do this for any of the values. So if we take another value, if we go from 100 down to 50, so the time at 100 is 20 minutes and the time at 50 is 40 minutes. So the time difference there is again 20 minutes. So this time is constant as we go down. So that gives us this curve. You can use this triangle here to calculate different values. So at the top, we have the total time that you're interested in. At the bottom left, we have T a half, which is half-life. And at the bottom right, we have number of half-lives. So if you are used to using triangles, this might help you to calculate the half-life questions. I'll put this triangle in the top corner of all of the examples so that it's there throughout the video. So in this question, we're being asked, how long would it take for the level of radioactivity to fall to 1 16th of the original value if the half-life is 12 hours? So if we first write down what we know, so the half-life is 12 hours, we are looking for the total time for it to get to this value. So we're starting off at 1 as we're looking at fractions. We go from one to a half, down to a quarter, to an eighth, and finally to a sixteenth. The other part of our triangle that we're missing is the number of half-lives. So to calculate the number of half-lives, you purely count the arrows. So the arrows you can see as a passage of time between the different halves here. So to go from one to a half will be the first half-life, and we know that that's 12 hours. After another 12 hours, we'll be at a quarter. After another, we'll be at an eighth. And after a final one, we'll be at a sixteenth. So here we have four half-lives. So our number of half-lives is four. So to work out our total time, we will do 12 times four equals 40 hours in total. And you can see that here if you wanted to, you could write the half-life onto the arrows and then just add it up. So you've got 12, 12, 12 and 12. Looking at another example here, we have a half-life with an, an isotope with a half-life of 4.2 minutes, which is quite a short half-life. And we're looking at what percentage is left after 12.6 minutes. So in this, we have a total time of 12.6. So we need to work out how many half-lives that is. So your number of half-lives will be 12.6 divided by 4.2. So you'll have three half-lives. That means you need to have three arrows. We're looking at percentages. So we're going to start at 100. After the first half-life, we will be at 50%. After the second half-life, we will be at 25%. And after the final half-life, we will be at 12.5%. That is your final answer. In this question here, we've been given the total time as 95 years. And we're being asked for how long the half-life is if we've now got 
the isotope at one thirty second of its original value. So if we start off at 1 and you just continue to keep halving until you get to 1 over 32. And like in the first example, you'll be counting the arrows. So here we have five arrows. So we want to know what our half-life is. So we have a total time of 95 and we have five half-lives. So the half-life itself must be equal to 95 divided by 5, which will give you a half-life of 19 years. As a final check, you could put 19 over each of the arrows and add up the total time and check it adds to 95. In our final example, we're looking at mass. So we have an isotope with a half-life of five minutes. We have a total time of 25 minutes and we're looking for the original mass. So we need to find out how many half-lives we have. So we have 25 minutes as our total. Each half-life is five minutes, so we have five half-lives in that time. If we have, after 25 minutes, we have six grams. So this time, we're going to double up until we get back to the original. So we're looking to put in five arrows. So the original mass must have been 192 grams. You can see we've got five half-lives here, leading us back to the original mass. Thank you for watching my video on half-lives. Remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams King.